Hey guys, welcome back to my shop. So now that I finished the router plate um, out of the aluminum plate, um, it's time to drill and route the hole for to place it into on my table saw. So that's what we're going to focus on this video and I have a couple of little things that I want to do um, but we'll get to that when we're building. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to actually route the groove or the uh, inside inset part for the router. Um, we're actually going to use the, the uh, router plate that we're making because it has a nice big reference surface to uh, route this. So I have my template placed on here right where I want it. I also have this extra piece that I'm going to put in the middle so that I have support on both sides of the router so it doesn't tip.
All right, guys. Well, here's the final product into the in the table itself. I did end up off camera afterwards. I drilled some holes on each corner. I was originally thinking of doing leveling from the bottom, but I decided that it was better to add the shims. And I don't know if you saw uh, while I was putting it in the playing cards. I use playing cards as shims because they're they're perfectly consistent one to the other. So if I put one on one side and one on the other side, I know it's exactly the same. And I just used those playing cards to shim it up, and it was actually one playing card on each side and it shimmed it up perfectly but the reason I drilled the holes was that I could actually bolt it down onto this the the thing itself so it won't come up and basically since it's always going to be in there <clears throat> here's the router um, the plate itself has I, I had an old one that burnt out a long time ago so I had an extra one of these so I can live, leave this in the plate at all times and then whenever I need to just <clears throat> whenever I need to use the router, I just put this one on. <clears throat> right? So I have an extra one. Another thing I did do is I wired in a switch right here. Um, I like these uh, these old school like pole switches. And basically I and, and I'll bring you in again close. Down at the bottom of this, I routed, I, I put in a uh, an outlet that has a cord and that's what gets plugged in and that cord comes into that outlet and then it also is controlled by this switch that way when I come in my router plugs into that outlet it doesn't have to plug into some external part okay guys so here we are underneath the, the bench itself and see how actually the screws that I used to hold it down are a little too long I'm gonna get shorter ones but that's basically what it is. The other ones are on the other side of this piece, that the drawer piece. Can't actually see them, but they're on that side. Here's the outlet, which is wired in, and it goes out to the out. And then it also has a switch right here, um, which turns it on and off, obviously. And so, this has a little bit of a Micro adjust, locks in. We plug it in, and we're ready to go. All right, guys. So here's the top plate. Um, I have a chamfer bit in there just to do a little preview. It's just a scrap wood, scrap piece of plywood. And uh, so here's the switch. Check it out. That worked out fine. I mean, this is plywood, so it's not the greatest, but it's perfect. The last thing I'm going to have to do, and that's my next project probably, is add some dust collection. Well, there we are, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I certainly did. Um, I had a lot of fun with the whole aluminum... Uh, router plate and putting it in and adding the switch and all that stuff it was kind of a fun little task so and it, I'll, I'll get a lot of use out of it in this form um, one other thing that I wanted to add and it kind of came to me a little while ago is uh, you can put those starter pins you know um, onto these so that they help you start it and I was thinking if I drilled a hole and tapped those holes right that way I could screw the starter pins in but also I can take it out take the whole router plate and on the other side if I screw the holes wide enough apart um, and tap them from you know make sure they tap them all the way through I could screw in some knobs or some handles and basically use it as an entire router so uh, that might be a future project but you know I'll of course, inform everybody if I do it. Uh, other than that, thank you very much. Please like, share, subscribe, um, and I will see you in the next video.